Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. Yellow fever was a regular occurrence during the late summer and early fall months in Natchez in the 19th century. Also known as yellow jack, the disease is caused by the yellow fever virus and is spread by the bite of a female mosquito. In most cases, symptoms include fever, chills, loss of appetite, nausea, muscle pains in the back, and headaches. All those symptoms might improve within five days. In some people, the fever comes back, causing abdominal pain and liver damage, which in turn causes the skin to yellow. In Natchez, the fever reached epidemic proportions in the 1820s and 1830s. In 1837, for example, 39 citizens died in one week, including five doctors and the chairman of the city's health board. The worst outbreak occurred in 1853 when the disease claimed the lives of over 750 people. Whole families were exterminated. Rev. Stratton of the First Presbyterian Church noted that once the fever had been confirmed, panic gripped the town. For nearly four months, businesses were closed and grass grew up in the streets. Stratton recalled that a silent tongue over our usually bustling city. Yellow fever paralyzed the commercial, political, and church activities and had brought the lives of the community of Natchez to a standstill. I am Destiny Campbell, a 10th grade student at Natchez Early College Academy, and this has been your Natchez History Minute.